stuck here. The cops won't bother me. There's all sorts of bikes you, I can get and I've actually contacted some people but this C3 is a good bike to live with and it's really cheap to live with and I just installed a new windscreen on here getting ready for the winter there's a couple things I'm uh, planning on but yeah I'm a little sad that the V-Strom is gone I'm actually sadder that I lost my motorcycle or sold my motorcycle instead of like breaking up my with my girlfriend I am actually much more sad which is kind of odd you know I don't think a lot of motorcycle riders would even consider a scooter much less a 50cc scooter as their only mode of transportation but I can honestly tell you that it's great fun you know you don't have to go very far to have adventures on this bike and a lot of times man on my v-strom in order to get like a high you know like i was going on adventure i needed to do at least 300 400 miles but this thing i'll do like 50 miles and it feels like i've gone 300 miles on a motorcycle you know, like i never realized that scooters were this fun because i've always been the guy that liked powerful motorcycles and i never thought that a scooter would be fun because like when you think about it a scooter I can get a Ninja 250 for the same price that I got this um, this Yamaha C3 like an old one but there's these things that make scooters better and like there's the convenience of scooters but not only that it's the image of scooters that really does it for me the image are the things I like for example on a motorcycle I often get in trouble you know there's a certain image that's associated with motorcycle riders and there's like the cruiser riders and they're kind of like these you know buttless chaps wearing bad boys with tattoos and they're veterans right that's like one image and the sport bike guys doing wheelies on the highway going fast and that's another image but the scooter guys quietly are more evil than everybody else i mean look at this i don't ever recommend going on a place like this where i can only get through my bicycle or walking but honestly if there was a cop down the road he would just go like eh, that's fine but if there was a motorcycle if i did this on a motorcycle i would be in trouble i would get a ticket and that is the beauty of the scooter it's like you can get away with things sure there's like some major downsides but if you're gonna be kind of like a hooligan that wants to get to work fast and you know oftentimes I find myself not liking to do lane splitting in this area the DC area because cars don't like that and I've had cars uh, that like have tried to clip me when I was on a motorcycle but on a scooter it's so small and like so cute that everybody just lets you do what you want and I love that I love that I can just go 50 miles away from home and I can have an adventure I can have an adventure just riding around parking lots and residential buildings because the way of riding is much more different than than riding a motorcycle it's just uh, people don't really take you that seriously and in a way that's a great thing like I would never do this sort of stuff on a motorcycle I would but on a scooter man it's just like so cute people always think that it's the cutest thing and by the way you know there's this uh, misconception in, around motorcyclists especially sport bike riders is that women are going to be drawn to you because you have a sport bike you know it is a little biological you know that's why guys get um, sports cars because they assume that it's going to help them but in our modern society I don't really think that helps but I think one thing that helps is having a really cute scooter because you know a lot of women they just want to be safe 
and they almost don't like the guys that ride the sport bikes because they kind of consider them to be a little bit too aggressive so in a way you kind of slip under the radar again with women another thing with scooters is that in a congested area even if you live in the suburbs in the time of traffic so if your commute is during traffic you're not going to be going faster than 30 miles an hour it's like all bumper to bumper so a lot of times like a car that goes like 50 miles an hour is useless and another great thing especially this c3 it's fuel injected so it's easy to start it's easy to live with you could just like get on it and go and the best thing with a 50 is that the majority of 50 uh the nifty 50s come with a kickstarter so if you're ever dead you have a dead battery you can just kick it to life and that's pretty much it you don't need to do anything else there are some scooters that are a little bit better so some guys might really like the ruckus style i don't think the fit and finish of the ruckus is great and i've had uh, three ruckuses oh two yeah i had two ruckuses so i don't think that their build quality is great and also they're carbureted so for me having a fuel injected bike I, I like that idea you know I like the fact that I can get 115 miles to the gallon on this thing it's fuel injected you know a lot of ruckus riders they soup them up but I'm not into that it's too much work Kim Cole 150s they're great I, I had a Honda Elite 110 that was a fantastic bike and because they only made it in 2010 there's very few of them so a lot of people don't even know about them now i have a friend of mine that's got he's really big into the honda sh150i that's a great scooter too the only thing i don't like about that particular scooter is that there's very little under seat storage and if i get a scooter i like the idea of having storage underneath and the Honda Elite 110 had tons of storage underneath. I mean, I can really put a lot of stuff in there. And of course, the, the Elite is 110, the SH is 150. So you're losing a little bit of speed. And also the SH has very large diameter tires that make it much easier to ride. And it feels like more like a motorcycle than it does a scooter. So that's another thing to keep in mind. If you get a scooter with small diameter wheels like this C3 or Ruckus or Metropolitan, it's gonna feel more like a scooter. I think I'm gonna go this way. It's gonna feel more like a scooter instead of a motorcycle, but a large diameter wheel uh, scooter, even a small one, feels like it handles more like a motorcycle. You have to kind of learn to toss it in corners like the um dc 3s you can just kind of like flick them they're very flickable i'm really liking this windscreen especially today that it's extremely cold it helps to have something there to kind of protect you a bit best thing is that you know it's got the automatic transmission so it's very easy to kind of use you, you just twist and go so a lot of people can just climb on this bike and and ride and another great thing with the scooter is that i can fill this thing up with just change you know it's like two dollars to fill this thing up and i can ride for a week and if you have a short commute you're going to be filling up every what like three weeks with two dollars and another great thing with the 50s is that you don't even get a tag you get like the sticker and you just get one a one-time registration and that's it you don't have to keep going back and registering your motorcycle every year it's a fantastic thing you know it's like these things are seen more as transportation than anything else also another really great thing is that their resale is just so bad you can pick up a scooter for like a thousand bucks that from japan you know a lot of people like the chinese stuff because you can get them new but that's a terrible thing because even though they're new they're not good and i've had one chinese scooter and it was just one thing after another uh fixing you know the engine never stopped but also it was carbureted so it kept the carbs also always needed to work always needed to be clean so i don't particularly like that one you know i've always been a motorcycle fanatic 
you know, dirt bikes, dual sports, sport bikes, adventure bikes. I like all sorts of bikes. And I never thought about getting a scooter until it's been a recent sort of uh, adventure. Because I've always found them that, okay, I can get a much better deal on a motorcycle than I can on a scooter. And I never thought about their benefits. And I actually learned about like the whole scooter life from a local rider and he had a couple of motorcycles too and then he had a SH-150 and I started to kind of think about it because it makes sense having an automatic you don't have to shift it makes it very easy to ride it's um, you can be a hooligan and people let you get away with it because you know it's a cute scooter that's the part that I really like and in DC I can park for free in the sidewalk I can, I can park this thing on a bike rack nobody cares but you can't do that on a motorcycle so those are big benefits you know like having something cute that you can get away with a lot of things that you would not otherwise be able to get away with that's a fantastic benefit in scooter riding <laughs> kind of stuck here the cops won't bother me